As you can see, Hart loves the paddleboard. She is a natural. So we decided to make a video of our first time taking out Hunter, our German Shepherd, and Bentley, our Great Pyrenees, his first time on the paddleboard. So you'll get to see both of them get on there and we're gonna show you how we do it. So without further ado, let's get into some tips. First thing we're gonna talk about is how you get them on initially from the get-go, pumped up that paddleboard and you're ready to go. Farty jumps right on, she loves it. Best way to get them to love it is to go really slow and to um, I'll show you a clip here where I have Bentley just loosely on a leash and I'm not forcing him to jump on. You're going to see that he tugs me around and he doesn't listen. The reason for that is that I'm not giving, I'm not putting my relationship on the line. So I'll go ahead and place some footage here and you can see that when I'm just loosely holding the leash and not really making Bentley do anything, he, really, he will not jump on the paddleboard. The important thing is to put yourself in a place where you're almost threatening your relationship with him as if to say, hey, you need to trust me right now and get on here. This is a command. The most important thing with that is making sure you're not forcing it. By assertive, I just mean holding it firmly, not letting them pull backwards and being like, come on, you're getting on. But if they were to start throwing their head and like choking themselves out, I would immediately let go and let them away. You don't want to make it a miserable experience, but you want to give that assertive pressure and also make sure you have a strong relationship with the animal before you try something like paddleboarding. Another good tip is to go on a day that is not crowded. Uh, the fewer people, the better. Honestly, they get really overstimulated really easily when they're doing something new. So it's a nice idea to go when there's like the least distraction possible. Yeah, it's like there's a big bouncy house and they'd rather go to the bouncy house than go through the scary haunted house that is the paddleboard. Mm -hmm. Totally. Another great starter tip is to keep it shallow. Uh, there's a clip where Hunter jumps off because she gets a little too scared uh, when Sam goes a little deeper than she wanted. But when she jumped in the water, she realized she could touch and she wasn't scared anymore. Yeah, I think that would have been more of a traumatizing experience if it would have been too deep and she would have had to swim. As especially since in that clip she has a leash on, which is another tip. If you can avoid putting a leash on, avoid putting a leash on. We had a leash on just because at that moment when that clip was happening, there were people up at the top of the cliff who were contemplating coming down to the beach spot we were at. So we wanted to make sure we had control of the animals in case they ran, wanted to run up there with traffic and all that. So that was why that was like that. But generally keep the leash off because it's worth it. They are, they're gonna listen to you. You should be in a place where you have good verbal control over your dog so that you can practice things like this with them. So now that you have your shallow space and you're keeping it shallow and you're ready to do a little bit more, you wanna make sure that that shallow space, you can do little laps. So you'll just kinda do little ovals staying in the shallow area and then work your way out a little further where it's a little deeper. Especially if they're liking it, they're gonna start to be like, ooh, this is fun. I can see how deep it is and that there's so much water Water around us but make sure you're going nice and slow and giving them that oval so they have their time to back out if they don't like it and lastly a great tip is to get a dog friendly board uh, we got some inflatable ones uh, from Amazon we can like throw it up here somewhere. yeah um, I'll link it down below too but we got these boards they were not very expensive so we were a little worried about how high quality they would be but honestly, they are great for dog claws. They come with a really thick pad on it. Yeah, it almost feels like a mat, not even like a yoga mat, but more like a mat that you would have out for livestock. And it's really thick, mm -hmm. so I feel comfortable they're not gonna puncture it. Yeah, and when Hunter jumped on the board and Hart jumps on the board all the time, it never leaves any marks. So that's a great one to get, honestly. Uh, the hard top boards, we did have one with, I think Hart's like, second time on she jumped on and slipped off with her back legs and she didn't like that yeah my parents have a hard top board so we have mm -hmm. used that one and that's a great starter if you have access to one to do your first time for them on those because they feel a little bit more like a canoe or a kayak and a little bit more sturdy you could also try a kayak or canoe for their first time and then work your way to a paddle board um i just don't really like the kayaks because i'm scared i'm gonna get flipped out of the kayak mm -hmm. whereas i feel comfortable that we can both bail out if we're uncomfortable on a paddle board however i'll also say this method works i feel comfortable to give advice because i've never had farty fall off never. fart is heart the one that we can the one the eager one at the beginning <laughs> she loves it we've done long excursions where two people are in a kayak and i'm on a paddle board and i'm with farty and she is fine yeah. she loves it she gets a little antsy after a while she wants to move her legs mm -hmm. but we just take breaks pull off to the side let her get out stretch her legs run a little bit get back on so it's all about slow integration i've never had an accident make sure your animal trusts you they're checking in with you when they're out on the open water they should be looking to you for advice uh -huh. too if they do get a little freaked out so just make sure you're calm and telling them you're fine we're good we're staying on the board together this is where we are and they should be good so i hope these tips help 
They're kind of basic, but just to get you started, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll do a more advanced one when we get these two out in the open water a little bit and give you tips for once you're out there. So once again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. When in doubt, love it out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye guys.